Hi, this is part two of SQL in Python, and we're going to look at using nested subqueries in SQL. So we have a task from management. Our task is to find the days with extremely high prices from 2015 to 2018. Now, the first question you need to ask management, what is extremely high? Extremely high would be two times the average of the price in 2018. So how are we going to achieve this? For the SQL part of it, we're going to return a table with a nested query. So a nested query is a query that depends on another query. So we can place that in the where part of our SQL statement. Sounds more difficult than it is, but it's a little advanced. And then with Python, we can use filtering. So with the SQL, we want to return a table with all prices and dates in which the price is at least two times higher than the overall average price in 2018. And the same we want to do with Python. We want to return a data frame. So we're going to be looking at our avocado data set to get that average price. And if you haven't seen how to load in a, a data table, you can do that by going into part one of this series. So what I'm going to do first is select the table to show you the data. Let's document here, select the table. And then I'm going to select the top 10 rows and I want to see everything from Avocado. So we can see that we have the date, we have the average price, and then we have the year which we can filter on. So we can already start to create the first part of this query. So we want to select the average price first. And all you need to do is select AVG. And then now we want the average price. So we already have average price here. So we need to take the average of our average price by using this particular command. So this aggregation function, and then we just highlight average price from avocado, which is our table. And if I run that, you can see that we have 1.4. Now remember that we needed to have two times the average price was I asked. So we can just select this, create some more, and say times two. So it's very easy. We can run this and just multiply it by 2.0. I'm putting 0.0 because sometime you need to, to use this in order to have the operation run correctly by using it as an integer. So I'm going to run this. And then you can see we have double that price there. We don't need to name the column because it's not important. Now, how do we specify which year? We know if we run the top query again, we can see we have year here. And we can filter this select statement with where. I'm going to copy this again. And then I'm going to say where year equals 2018. Now that we have this query, so I have my select statement and now I can add a where statement where year equals 2018. Now if I run this now, we should see this amount here, which I'm going to run it just to show you. We have 2.8 and if we run it where we're filtering 2018, we have 2.69. So that is going to be the first part of our query. So I am going to, so now what we want to be able to do is use this in a outer query. So this is going to be the inner part of our query because this is what we want to be our condition to bring back our dates. So we want to bring back, what do we want to bring back? We want to bring back the dates and the average price for that particular day. 
and we can say from avocado. So we want dates and prices based on our condition. And our condition is the query above. So if I run this, and I don't remember if it's date or dates, so I'm going to run the first query to see. So it's actually date, and you can see that's why it's highlighted with the underlined red bar to show it's that it's not in column in the table. So if I run this, it's going to bring back dates and average price. Now there is 18,000 rows here. So we know we don't have a filter condition. So the same way we created a where here, we can say where, say where our average price is greater than what? This particular query. So I'm gonna copy this query and then I'm going to encapsulate the query in these parentheses and I'm just gonna make it longer just because it looks slightly better. Of course, you can format this a little bit more where you have, okay, we want to choose a select statement and then we want average price from the avocado table where it's up to you how you want to format the query to make it more readable. So we want the date and prices based on our condition. So we have 18,000 rows without a condition. So if we run this, now you can see we only have 95 rows in which our condition was met. So we have the dates and time, dates and prices where our average price was higher than double the average price in 2018. So also we want at least, so we need to add another operator here, which is greater than or equal. So I'm gonna run that again. And now you see we still have that 95 rows. So this is a nested query that is part of our where filter. So this is running first, this is why it's nested, and then the outer query is dependent on it. So let's move over to Python see if we can get a similar result with these 95 rows and these particular days, which you would turn into management now. So what I did here, and let me make this a bit bigger for you. I've imported pandas as PD, and then I've read in the CSV that is avocado, and I've saved it as the data frame. So let's look at the top 10 rows, the same what we did in SQL. The head function is gonna give you the top five. You pass in a 10 and you can press shift and enter and now you will get the top 10 rows here. So now what we wanna do is start building our condition. So the first thing I wanna do is be able to isolate our data frame by year. So I am going to isolate the year and say year equals and then 2018. So that's our first condition. So I'm just going to save this as YR 2018. And then I, what I can say is now I can pass this particular condition into a data frame and say YR 2018. And what this is going to give me is all the years, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit more. If I run this, this is going to give me everything with the condition 2018. So if I run that, it didn't work. And that's, let's see why. It's because 2018 is not a string, it is a number. So if I run that, now I can get everything that's 2018 and you can see the date there. And if I move over, you can also see the year is 2018. So now we have a data frame that's 2018. Now what I need from this is the average price. 
So I'll, if I run this, what I'm doing is isolating the average price, and I'm just gonna run that and show you. So now all we have is the average price for 2018. But what I wanna do is get the average of these average prices so I can attach the function mean behind it. If I run that, now we have this number, 1.34. Remember that we want to double the average price, so we can multiply that by 2.0 and run that again, and we get 2.69. We can save this as our condition. So we want the, we can save this as a variable. So, uh, so we'll say this is average two times 2018. A bit of a long name, but now you have that. Now we're going to have that as a variable. 2018 average price, average price. So extremely high price. Now what we want to be able to do is use this to create a data frame. So the first thing we want to do is filter our data frame. So we're going to filter our data frame. So we're going to go back and get that original DF, which is our original data frame that we brought in here. So let's create some condition. Condition one equals, so let's say what the first condition is. That means like the average price needs to be greater than this mean, this variable, greater or equal. So we can isolate average price and we can say it's greater than and then we can pass in that variable greater than two times so that's our first condition so if I apply condition one here so there's our condition so if I pass this condition in and if I run that I have a misspelling there so now I run that and you can see what we have here is 95 rows. And I'm going to zoom out. But we still haven't gotten what we need. We just need dates and average price. So we are going to get date and average price. So now we have a list and we create a list with these brackets. So we want date and average price. But in order to bring back a data frame, we just need to pass that list within another bracket. And this is going to pass this list and bring back a data frame. So now you can see we have the date and the average price and all 95 of those. So we have 95 rows in the two columns. If we go back over to our, our table here, well, in order to see this and compare, how about we sort this data frame by highest to lowest? So we're gonna order by, and I'm gonna say order by two here, and descending. So we can see, so I'm ordering by the second column here and descending, I'm gonna run that. And so we should see 325 as our highest value on 10.3. And I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to sort values, say by average price. And now we have this need to do this by descending. So ascending equals false. And we run this. We can see we have 3.25 there. And if we go back, we have 3.25, 1030, 316. And our next value to check is 416 and 416 and our 95 rows. So that's a way to use filtering and a nested query to bring back that particular result. You can leave a comment or suggestions or anything you like in the section below. Let me know what you think about this series, what you would actually like to look at and see 
performed in Python and SQL. Thank you.